Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to episode 3 of Bartenders. It's gonna get started in 3, 2, 1, go. You <laughs> look. Where'd she go? I mean, dang, she just... <laughs> Oh, interesting. Right? I mean, whatever you do outside of his business, he don't give an absolute of.
Oh. Because my thing was, I thought it was beer and bourbon. Oh, they know, but you know, they still want to ask. <laughs> yeah, can see every single week he keeps making up excuses. Like, you don't have that fear. Shaking ASMR. Oh my god, that is mm, love it. Oh.
Don't mind me, I'm hungry. I mean, but it worked to every, like everything he wanted, but damn. You still can't impress everyone. It wasn't a date. It really was. I mean, the last three weeks. Didn't you already quit though? She must have got another draw though. And it wasn't up to his liking. Mm. Okay, well, but you, as a criticism, you're still taking that as a compliment. Right. Instead of being here with him and, you know, to the moon him. I mean, all he was trying to do was just kindly offer her some advice. But, of course, people are people. So people will take, like, kindness as criticism. Which one? You want to be in B2? Okay.
Cosmopolitan. I mean, because, okay, hold up. He seems a little overconfident about that, though. We quit bartending. It's a really pretty red. Hmm. Huh? Mm. Okay, they look the same. But, okay, look at the portion sizing. Of, okay, that's because of the cup. All right. Because I was about to say, why does one look like this and the other one look like that? I'm like, damn, portion size. Right? Just hear her out.
prank. I mean, you don't have to be a dick. <laughs> I, I mean, it does suck, but you know, and, and this is just me. He's getting hit after hit after hit. Three freaking weeks. And, you know, assholes. But he is trying his best. I do understand where he's like, I, he makes the drinks to make the customer happy. And it should be, you need to make the drink as X, Y, and Z, not to always to please the freaking customer and such. Now, the girl, Kyoko, I do feel for her, especially, like, feeling like after making a and b and not getting the greatest compliment after it and getting some harsh criticism and saying that, you know, this is what you need to do, da 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 da, da. But you take that initiative and you look at that as a learning lesson and such. And so you continuously practice, which is good for her because she did practice. The girl was, homegirl was over here practicing until blisters were opening up, which that is dedication at the end of the day. But I, mm, I, mm, I'm going to say I, I'd rather have a whole episode focus on her instead of just like a five or ten minute segment and such. But I think what time and maybe with her going to him again and talking and not trying to, you know, be on, because she was very defensive. Mm, I don't like that about certain people. I, I mean, how I even am like that myself too, where I am very defensive, especially about like whatever you say, like, oh, you didn't do this right. And then I'm just like, you know what, fuck you. I don't really give a shit about you. Like, fuck it. I, I am trying my best just as much as everybody else. And that is exactly what she's doing. She's trying her best. It may not be, you know, at the standards of what the customer wants, but it is her best quality. But I do, I would say, take the criticism to heart and try again, continue practicing and such because she, she can get better. And that's the same thing for him as well. Yes, he didn't make the Manhattan up to the standards of what it is supposed to be. But he made it to a good standards of what um, what's her face wanted, especially coming in sweaty. Temperature was very different. So, you know, he enhanced the flavor for her. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I just think it, it's almost like you have to put your emotions aside for certain things. And maybe that is what he, he's doing a little too much on. But I don't know. We got to wait and see. I just still have a lot more questions. I, I hate the fact that he is very much avoiding. Because whatever the issue is on his backstory, hopefully we get that soon. But, yeah. Stop avoiding. Stop beating around the bush. Take it head on. Stop avoiding. Damn it. Get that shit done. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode three of Bartender. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode four. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.